Have you ever had a moment in your life where you truly wanted to challenge yourself? I'm talking about a challenge that will test you both mentally and physically. A challenge that others might think is crazy. Just about one month ago, I was sitting on my couch and a video popped up on my YouTube titled From Bodybuilder to Iron Man in Six Months by Nick Bear. I was intrigued by the title and decided to give it a watch. After watching this video of a man dedicate six months of his life to training and competing in a triathlon, I truly felt inspired. Immediately, I started to think to myself, now this is something I want to do. I mean, honestly, how hard could it be, right? If this guy can do it, then I can do it too. After giving myself all the confidence in the world and telling myself that I too could do this, I began to get a little bit nervous. I started to doubt myself. I started to ask myself, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to dedicate six months of my life to this? After the nerves had settled and I began to collect my thoughts, I said to myself, this is the year you are going to compete in your very first Ironman. Here is how my first month of training went. The first thing I had on the agenda was to find a training plan. I went directly to Google and searched for Half Ironman Training Plan. Simply enough, I clicked on the first link I found titled a 20 week training plan for your first 70.3 triathlon. Now that I had my training plan figured out, I needed to find a pool to train in. I went to a local gym that had an Olympic sized swimming pool and I signed up immediately. With my training plan in place and a great place to work out at, I was finally ready to get started. The night before my first training session, I set my alarm for 4.20 a.m., packed my clothes, and I was excited, nervous, but ultimately ready to go. My body hadn't fully adjusted to the early mornings yet, so I only received a few hours of sleep before the first session. I got to the gym around 5 a.m. where I met my friend to complete our very first training session, which was a 45 minute bike ride with four by 20 second sprints sprinkled in. My one takeaway from my very first session was that my ass was in so much pain. Getting off that training bike after those 45 painful minutes felt amazing. I went to work that day, I got home, I ate a ton of food and I passed out at 8 p.m. <laughs> I had never felt more tired in my entire life and it was only day one. For the next three weeks, my training sessions began to get more and more difficult. The hardest by far was week three. During this week, I ran about 10 miles, swam just over three, and biked an additional 45 miles. In total, during week three, I logged 58 miles. It's fair to say that my body was in a lot of pain. There were many times during my training sessions where I would stop and ask myself, why are you doing this? What is the point? At first, I really struggled to find an answer to this simple question. However, the more I thought about it, I kept coming back to the same conclusion. And that was that it has always been a dream of mine since I was a kid to compete in an Ironman. As a kid, my family and I visited the Big Island of Hawaii where they host the Ironman World Championships every single year. I didn't really understand the magnitude of an Ironman at this age. It wasn't really until I got older and I began to grasp the concept of this insane endurance race. I feel that now is a perfect time in my life to dedicate my own time to achieving this dream I've had since I was a little kid. My first month of training finished, I now have a newfound respect for triathletes and the sport itself. I still have a long way to go before I cross the finish line of my very first half Ironman. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy the journey that has led me to this point. I'm going to try to enjoy the early morning workouts as much as possible and hopefully learn a lot about myself through this process. I can't wait to share more of this journey with you guys and hopefully inspire some of you 
to get out there and chase your own goals. With that being said, thank you guys as always for watching and I will catch you in the next video.